was one of the world's greatest trumpet players. He passed away at 26 years old in 1956 while he was working with Max Roach's group. Um, it was a car accident with Richie Powell, the pianist, and Clifford Brown, and they both passed away. But Clifford wrote this tune that was recorded by Max Roach's quintet. It's so infectious and uh, so harmonic and so interesting that jazz musicians have always played this since uh, it was recorded, and it celebrates the, uh, the spring. This is called Joy Spring. And that's Bill. He's going to be our guest tonight. Check it out. I wonder if Facebook's going to like, but Bill said it was okay that I play his music on the show, and hi Rebecca, and he's going to be here tonight, lovely hat, been running around today, ooh, we're past 11, I missed 11, it's 13, I light my candle, you know that's what I do usually. When there are 11 on, I light the second candle. I bought this candle. Well, oh, I did not buy this candle. Wow. This candle was gifted to me at the St. Regis. After I performed at the St. Regis a couple, couple of 10 years ago. No, it's not long ago. It's like seven. How's it going, everybody? What's going on? Do you want to see? I never finished last night because... Did you finish your drawing? I talked to Mama Grace. She said, last night we had my friend Phyllis on, and she taught us how to draw a person. And um, my mom called me this morning, and she said, how long were you on last night? I said, I think... She said, I went to bed at 12, at midnight. Okay. And... Um, my mom just said she's trying to get on the show right now. She said that she gave up because she looked at her drawing and she thought it looked like a toilet. But here's mine. <laughs> hey! Hey! Wow! Nice to see you! Oh my goodness! Wow! Oh, I want you on my show. I do this every day, 11, 11 a.m., 11, 11 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. 
and and I you know I I paint I just don't draw I don't draw I've always said I don't draw now you now you've seen my artwork but I think we need a little DNA repair I need a little DNA repair so I just was um running around oh good mama grace is on I told him that your drawing looked like a toilet Yes, this is my kitchen. So I'm going to make this quick today because unless somebody wants to jump on, um, or Carla, 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 are you still there? Carla, hello. I got. I, I wanted to get on and play a little bit of their music because I knew Bill was going to be here, but Bo is going to be here as well. Well, they'll be they'll be here. They'll be here. They won't be here because nobody. Lillian and I. This is our this is our little hang spot. Hi, John Beatty. Hi, John. How are you? How's your beautiful wife? Good morning, Greenfield. Mona, Mona. Hi, Mona. <sighs> Lovely day. I'm uh, going to go out and plant some hostas. Hi, Kate. And I'm going to the post office tomorrow. So, Julie, I will let you know what I have created for you as far as CDs. Thank you for your order. And Kate, I have some CDs for you. Thank you for your order. And thank you everyone that's been supporting um, 1111 with Jenna through my Venmo page and through my PayPal page. And the Patreon page is coming along. We, uh, Phyllis and I did a really fun interview last night. And um, that's, that will be up on Patreon. Dwayne Wiggins in the house. Well, he's not in the house. He's at his house in Oakland. How are you? Oh, man. So another invite. Dwayne, I do this show every day at 1111 a.m. and 1111 p.m. And right now I'm in Michigan. I'm sheltering in place in Michigan. So I would so love to have you on the show. So a formal invite to Dwayne from Tony, Tony, Tony. That's all I'm saying. 510 in the house. Happens at 11, 11 p.m. So it's 8, 11 p.m. your time. So if you can make that work, that would be super cool. So here is my invite. Anybody else? And if anybody wants to come on right now, I... No, I'm not going to sing right now. Lillian and I already walked at the beach today with our mask, and I put the masks, I washed them. Hi, Bill. Ooh, I just played some of your music. I have a Clifford Brown story. I'm friends with Clifford Brown Jr., and I also have met Clifford Brown's Jr.'s mother and Clifford Brown's wife, and we were good buddies. Good morning. And Paula, I want Paula on the show, too. I'm happy to hear all as well. I'm happy to read all as well on Greenfield in the world. It's all good. So, yeah. Drinking my tea. Took up another dandelion this morning. Uh, saw Cassandra Wilson last night on Zoom for a minute. We, we kind of did a little Helen, 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 hello. <laughs> That's a nice name. Hello, Helen. I have a cousin named Helen. I'm waving at you. And we're back at 11. 11, 11 with Jenna. Seven days a week. Actually, seven, let's see, 14 times seven days a week. Cute in this hat. Thank you. You know, some days you just feel like wearing a hat. 
I like hats. I don't know if you've been to my hat party with Gary Lambert on Saturday nights. One more Saturday night. So tomorrow night, again, tomorrow night is karaoke night. Sing along with Jenna. So I am inviting any and all of you. In fact, I may, hmm, who on here wants to sing tomorrow night? It's really easy. All we do is you think of your go-to karaoke song. If you have to have a little tea beforehand, I understand. And then I call you and we do, you sing it. And then I go on to the next person. Grace, Mama Grace is going to be on. And um, maybe Dwayne. And I think my friend Ruth. Hi, Ruben. Good morning. What's, let's see, where do we have? We have Baroda, Michigan, Berkeley, California, Ukiah, California, Massachusetts, so we're coast to coast, Fresno, Oakland. Rona, I don't know where you are. New Mexico. Tanya, I don't know where you are. Connecticut. That's pretty cool. More, more in Southwest Michigan and maybe still Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, 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 Ohio. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's my brain. Frida's here. Frida's in the house. I thought about putting Frida not in the stove, but I thought if I could get her on the, the window of the stove, but I like her right there because she's, she's got my back. We just got my back. Good morning, Bill. I'm so excited to have you on tonight. Oh, there go my two forks. Yeah, so tonight is Bill, and then Thursday night is Sing Along with Jenna, and Friday night I think I have a special guest, and it's still waiting to be determined. And Saturday night is one more Saturday night with Gary Lambert. And Sunday night, I will be doing a uh, song meditation. And then next Monday, I believe, hi, Jeff. Good morning. Oh, tonight, Jeff. Bill Winokur is going to be on. And his brother, Bo. Bill and Bo. And they're going to tell their story. Family band. Like, like incredible. Really fun Grace still has the CD at her house, so I couldn't play it. Hi, Dean. So tonight, yes, another, it's been a drummer. There might, actually, Friday night, there may be another drummer here. <laughs> I have a lot of drummers in my life. They're good people. But, again, I invite each and every one of you to come on the show whenever you would like. You just got to give me fair warning, Dean. Fair warning, Dean. Or I could just... See if you wanted to come on the show right now and I could bring you on camera, Dean. And tomorrow night, sing along with Jenna. Oh. Oh, my friend Ruth Love. Bruce Levin in, oh, oh, we have two Massachusetts on. I forget where 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 Bill is, and I don't. And Bruce, aren't you in? Are you in Boston proper? Hi, oh hi, Bruce. We went to high school together and junior high. Um, my friend Ruth Love. Ooh, Ruth is gonna sing a tango. So it's it's happening. So I have Mama Grace and Ruth so far for tomorrow night. You're in Newton. Bill, how close are you to Newton? Hey, Bruce, can I bring you on camera so we can just say hi? Here, let's try this. You can just for, for two minutes. See what happens. I'm trying. Oh, he has to run. Oh, where am I? I'm in my kitchen. I'm in my kitchen. I'm up in my kitchen, I'll show you my best recipes. No answer from the live guest, because he has to run. Bye, Bruce. Thanks for scrolling on by. Yes, this is my kitchen. What up? 
And um, Jeff, are you going to sing a karaoke song tomorrow night? Or be part of the karaoke? You're supposed to be working. Oh my goodness, you're a mile away. Bill and Bruce are a mile away. Kevin, Kevin, can I bring you on camera right now? We can talk about your book. Your books, please. Let's see if that can happen. Now that I know how to, now I can't do this with everybody. Let's see if he answers. Another, someone I went to elementary school and junior high with. Let's see what happens. Is it happening? I don't know really what you do on your end. Only Jeff Metzger has done this with me. He guesses. Well, I'm trying to bring you on to split the camera. To split the... <laughs> hey! Hey! Whoops. Yay. <laughs> no, I've only done this one other time. Hi, Kevin Kuhn. I really wasn't prepared for this, but hey. But look at us. We're both wearing, we both have our baseball caps and our hoodies on. <laughs> yeah. so you don't want to see me without this baseball cap on. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen you in about 40 years, so I think it's all good. <laughs> I can really use a haircut. I'll just say that. Are you, is, is that something that's going to happen in your home immediately as soon as things Happen. Yeah, <laughs> I might talk my wife into giving me one just, you know, just uh, to the best of her ability. <laughs> I've seen a couple of that. You guys, this is my friend Kevin Kuhn. We grew up together and you live in Minneapolis. Minneapolis, yep. Suburb of Minneapolis. And, and well, you tell them what you do because I don't really know, but I kind of know. Well, I spent my career as an IT executive, um, and uh, when I hit 50, um, kind of went through a little bit of a midlife crisis, you know, thinking you like, do... sorry? sorry, I said, you guys do that, and then I said, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, so then um, I, I, I told my wife I either needed to get a sports car and a mistress or write a novel and she suggested a novel um so i did i i you know i don't have a literary background but i just started writing and uh um it kind of you know went and you know i had her read it and she really enjoyed it so uh, i wrote the whole thing uh took me i don't know seven months to write and then uh um found a publisher and uh, then it took another year and a half to go through like editing and printing and everything. Um, but uh, then um, I had a book. Um, it's called Do You Realize? The, the title is kind of a play on the most excellent fl Flaming Lip song, if you're familiar with that. Yep. <laughs> and uh, every chapter is a song title because um, I'm a big music fan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh here hold on i'll show you book? okay one sec <laughs> we went to junior high together i haven't seen him since seventh grade <laughs> so this is the book <laughs> um it uh there was about uh so it's 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 basically Do you realize it's on amazon it's on amazon yep and uh, it's a it's, prefer to it's sell it. Sorry, is that how you prefer to sell the book? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, you can get it on Kindle. It's it's a bit cheaper on uh, Kindle or Kobo or Nook uh, as an ebook, um, but you can get the printed book on uh, Amazon. And I, and I think I even have some signed copies for sale on eBay. <laughs> I, mean, I, I believe. Um, but uh, anyways, um, won, it won a couple literary awards, and it did for uh, a couple times. It's, it's actually gone to number one on uh, the Amazon bestseller list. Wow. Now, so how does been, that happen? Do you, do you know so, how that happened? Yeah, I know how it happened. Um, I basically put it on sale. Thank you. <laughs> And it just, you know, uh, sold, you know, and, and did some marketing. And uh, 
um, you know, kind of feeds on itself. Once it starts selling, then, uh, um, uh, you know, and starts rising in the ranks, then, then people notice it and then it sells more, you know, that sort of thing. So uh, it's been really fun. And then I, I, I just put the, put the uh, link up for the book. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank Jeff. you. And then I did um, write a second book, sort of. It's a collection of 10 short stories. Um, but this one is uh, um, kind of in the style of uh, The Twilight Zone. So if it you like, pretty. yeah, it's, it's pretty science fiction-y. Um, so I don't know if you like, if you like that, but um, it also went to number one just recently. Um, uh, again, from a, from a sale. Um, so it's been really fun. I, I've, it's, I've kind of been shocked by it all that, uh, um, that it's gone as well as it has. And, uh, I'm working on a third one. Um, it all, uh, the whole, um, book largely takes place in a bar in downtown Minneapolis. And it starts in the late 1800s and comes through to modern time. And were you a writer? Like, is this something that has always been in your DNA or it just no affair <laughs> or write a book okay yeah I'm a reader so I think that's a big part of it a lot of writers will say that is that you know being uh, um, you know uh, uh, really reading a lot is like a big part of becoming a writer um, but I would say I, I on these both these books I got a lot of help I found uh, a great publisher really good editors um, you know, and that makes a huge difference. Um, just editors that I really connected with. Hmm. Um, but it took, so the first book, it took me seven months to write and like a year and a half to do all the rewriting from all the okay. feedback from all the editing. So. And you had multiple editors? Uh, on both books I had, well, on the first book I had three editors. We did, I did three rounds, which is kind of unusual. But um, I'll just say I needed it. <laughs> you know, somebody that's maybe trained in literature that, you know, like they're, they're an English major or they've, you know, spent their whole career, you know, they can probably get away with one round. Um, but mine needed a lot of help. <laughs> Massaging. Wow, that's yeah. fascinating. And you're, and you're, do you have a day job? Uh, I teach at, uh, so I retired from um, IT as a IT executive, um, and I teach at Carlson School of Management, which is the business school at University of Minnesota. Um, and so are you teaching virtually right now? Are yeah, we did. We you? so we switched this semester. It's over now. I'm I'm done. But um, this semester we did go um, completely virtual. So I taught all my classes on Zoom and. I'm actually surprised at how well I went, how well it went. You know, it's it's so much of a somewhat of a luxury to have college students, and I am teaching in an IT curriculum, so the the students were able to kind of pick up the technology fairly easily. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, it's it it was fine. I miss the classroom. I miss the interact. You know, we did try to have interaction. We had a little, but not as much as you would. Um, you know, when you're teaching live. Right. Right. Wow. And how long have you lived in Minneapolis? Uh, I think about almost 15 years now. So a long Do you have time. Any area? You know, um, very rarely. We usually, my family all gets together, uh, at, believe it or not, in, in Indiana at uh, uh, Pokagon State Park every oh. year for a week. Um, we love that place. And then a it's couple of times we've stopped by St. Joe on kind of our way back um, to spend a little time. But uh, I don't, I, unfortunately, and I have a, a sister and a brother that still live in the area, but I, I don't get down there as often as I'd like. Isn't she, is she in Baroda? Jo, yep. Yeah. My sister Joni's yeah. in Baroda. Baroda. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. My friend Kevin, uh oh, asked Kevin why, with all of his success, he drinks cheap bourbon. <laughs> Is that your hat? Am I missing? No, it's it's on my book. Uh, it's on the author uh, about the author. Oh right, <laughs> I remember. That. And thank you. He um, actually gets 
me a book. Thank you for the gift of the book. Well, you, we tr we traded. We tr yes, I traded did. CDs that, that are fantastic are in my car and I play them all the time. But uh, um, <laughs> and I but and I, I want to thank you also for. I'm going to interrupt really quickly. Thank you also for um, gifting a, a donation on my Venmo. It was a really that oh, was yeah. a surprise. I appreciate it. And I loved the number and everything about it was great. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, for sure. Thanks for brightening our days um, through all of this. But yeah, I drink cheap bourbon just because um, I really enjoy bourbon, but I, I'm not really a connoisseur. I can't, I can't really, um, and I'm, you know, I'm kind of cheap all the time anyway. So it just kind of. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Well, I'm sure Jeff has been a big supporter of 1111 with Jenna and of me. And he, whenever he sees something on here, he, he buys. So yeah, you'll have some, I think you'll have some, some customers today and possibly oh, some repeat. Uh, <laughs> so. Thanks. For so what are you doing the rest of your day? Um, uh, I have, uh, Oh, uh, not really anything on the agenda. Yesterday we cleaned out the garage. <laughs> Writing my, um, I've got a uh, 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 eighth grader, so you know, uh, getting him to make sure he's done all his virtual homework for the day is uh, part of my job. <laughs> Wait, you mean when he's not on doing his other? Uh, is he a gamer? Oh, he's very much a gamer. Yeah, he spends a lot of time on. Uh, on the PS4. <laughs> I missed that part in the world, but I think it's really cool. You know, there's there's a definite community aspect of. Well, yeah, that's that's the time he gets with his friends. Yeah. You know, they're all on together, and that's his uh, that's his interaction. So, I do get him out in the driveway playing basketball in the yard playing soccer, but uh, you know, <laughs> only so much you can do these days. Yeah. So when you write, do you, do you have a certain, do you have certain, like, I'm going to go right now and you, do you have a cup of tea? Do you have cheap bourbon? Do you sit in a <laughs> certain room? Do you go outside? What's your, how do you um, get your, how do you get? I like to write in the morning before everyone else is up. The house is really quiet and, um, and that works pretty well. Um, but when I really need good ideas and I do my best kind of writing, actually when I'm walking, I go for long walks. We have some here, here in the Twin Cities, the city I live in, um, Eden Prairie has just some beautiful nature. And uh, I, I have to say I get all my best ideas um, just kind of out on, you know, quiet, solitary walks. Although the trails are so crowded now. Are they? It's like, why is everybody, get out of my truck? You've been doing this for so long, right? So. <laughs> yeah, but with the, the quarantine, everybody goes for walks now and bikes, you know, but uh, it's fine. I don't, I don't, I don't really mind it, but they are, they are definitely noticeably much more crowded now. Well, people are paying attention to their health. I, 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 I want to believe that's part of I think of that's it. true. Yeah, yeah, I think that's true. You realize that it's, there's, you know, sunshine, vitamin D, as much vitamin D as you can get through the For sun sure. and through, I believe in my vitamin D supplements, but as well. So, well, I really am honored that you're <laughs> here and appreciate your spontaneity and wanted to come on. I, I've only done this split screen with a couple people because usually I do it with my, my phone, which I love, but when it gives me the opportunity and I see someone there, I ask and you were, were gracious enough to accept. So thank you so much. Oh, thanks for having me on. It's a, it's an honor to be on 1111. A, oh, thank you, Kevin. Well, I hope you have a great rest of the day. And one day when I have a gig in Minneapolis, I will hopefully see you guys in the crowd. Oh, absolutely. 100% for sure. Cool. Thank you. Say hi to your family. I will. You too. Take care. Thanks, Kevin. Bye. Bye.
Yeah, the sound worked for the split screen too. I like the split screen, but I love my, I love this is so much fun. Because then I can go, when someone starts to get, you know, the tell this story, then I go, then, you know, it gets, it gives me a little dramatic effect, but that was really fun. Kevin Kuhn, check out his books, but check out the second book. And yes, I am to say, I do have a Venmo page or a Venmo app. So you can send a donation on Venmo, PayPal, or Patreon. And I'm, I just saw that I got a message that says, please let people know, and I will post it on this, on this page today, on this 1111 this show. We have 11 people here right this very second. Okay, so I just got another text from another drummer. Sunday night when I was going to do the meditation. Oh, thank you, Kate. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Jeremy Steinkohler of Jenna and the Charmers is going to be on the show. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Sunday night. Sunday, you got it. So maybe we'll do the meditation on Friday. I don't know you guys. We'll see. You tell me. Or I'm, you know, somebody else may jump on and we'll have to do the meditation another day. I thought about, someone said it would be nice to do one during the day. What do you guys think? I don't even hear crickets right now. I unplugged the crickets because since I came into the kitchen last night, my decision to do that was about 10.45 p.m. So I thought, I think I, I miss my, I like my chair. I love this chair. And I've, I've, since the whole quarantine, I brought my living room chair into my kitchen and I enjoy it. And I sit in here and eat and I sit right where you're, where you are right now, where my iPad is. And I was doing this last night and I went, why don't I? do the show from here because then I'd have to organize everything back there. And then I went, but why do I need to do that? Let's just do it. So I went <laughs> lamp and brought this, you know, so yeah. So we could do a meditation during the day if you're down for that or up for that. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> hey. Oh, hi. Not that I'm not excited to see everybody else, but wow, Michelle, I'd love to have you. Everybody, everyone's invited to be on 1111 with Jenna. 1111 AM, 1111 PM, Eastern Standard Time, 14 times a week. Hi. Oh, I would love to have you on the show. Good seeing. Ooh, Michelle, Thursday night, this Thursday night, every Thursday night starting this week, it's sing along with Jenna. It's basically karaoke. I call you on the phone and you sing a song and we talk for a minute and then I go on to the next person. Would you be interested in participating? She has a fabulous voice. So are you. Would you consider being on my show, singing karaoke style? Any song you'd love, any fabulous, oh, she has a fabulous voice. Plus I'd love to, yes, she's on for Thursday night. Okay, I'll reach out to you between now and then. But okay, so I have Mama Grace, Ruth Love, and Michelle, that's only three. Julie, Kate, Jeff, and if if um, being a guest is of interest to you, and you are not a, 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 a what do I say? You're not a night owl, and you'd like to be on during the day. I'm here. So 
let me know. I'm looking for sponsors. If you have a product, we can talk about that and talk about it on the show. And um, in the next couple of weeks, next 10 days, as Michigan opens up and I'm in this lovely town of St. Joseph, I am Julie Doesn't Sing. Yeah, but it's karaoke. A little wine, a little tea. She's a dancer. Ooh, Kate, what if you danced? Kate, what if you danced? I see there's stuff on TV about dancers. Jeanette's watching. Jeanette's like, okay, let's go do some, plant some hostas. We're in this love together. I'm, I'm on a couple of threads with lots of people. Someone just said, the Jenna Mamina show, just what you need to be doing right now. Keep it up. Every day, every night. That's what I'm doing. That's how I'm keeping it rolling. Good morning, Jeanette. Did you get the vacuum fixed? It's very exciting stuff around here. We're watching Dead to Me. Does anybody else, have you finished? Jeanette and I are halfway through the second season and we're, we're all, I'm already mourning that. Oh no, what am I gonna do after Dead to Me? but I am watching Top Chef with all the chefs. Fabulous food. But then I get hungry. And then, um, then I, now that I'm sitting in my kitchen all the time, I start making some like, hmm, I think I'll make a something. Oh my goodness, there's 17 people here right now. What's happening? What is going on? What's going on? This is, this is how it is. There's a, there's a thing for that. Hi, Lori Lamantia DeWitt. Oh, my cousin. Hello, my cousin. Have you ever seen, have you ever, have you been on the show? I don't know if you have. Hold on a second. I got to show you something. Don't leave. Where'd it go? Don't leave. Usually I have a piece of art behind me. This is one of the pieces of art that I have. So my cousin, Lori, is on right now, and this is Lori. And that's her dad, John, and her beautiful mom, Lou, and her beautiful sister, Debbie, and other beautiful sister, Angie, and brother, Tony. The Restaurant Swedish Series. Mm. The restaurant. But then I'll eat more. See all my art? I've taken, I take my art so I have it behind me. Then I always, as I walk in my house, I go, I got to put my art back up. Which, look, this, this hat. Don't you love my hat? Ooh, ooh. I love you, Trisha. I want to talk to you. Hi, Dave Bartz. Oh my goodness, all you people. So, okay, this is a perfect time to bring it up again. Thursday night, well, tonight, Bill Winokur is going to be on. He's a great, oh my gosh, you guys, he's a great drummer, and his brother's a trumpet player. And they have a family story about being, you know, on tour together. And it's super awesome. And he's going to be here tonight. And tomorrow morning, maybe somebody else will be on. Thank you, Kevin Kuhn, for being on today. And tomorrow night, oh, tomorrow night's karaoke, right. So tomorrow night is, is Sing Along with Jenna. Those of you that are karaoke singers, and I bet every single one of you is. 
I would love for you to be on my show. I call you on the phone, you sing your song, we say hello, say goodbye, I go on to the next person. So far I have three, three. But since there are 16 of you on here right now, and tomorrow morning, maybe you'll be my guest. And then Friday, we'll have something else happening. And Saturday is Gary, and Sunday is Jeremy Steinkohler of the drummer of Jenna and the Charmers. I've had so many drummers on and I know so many more drummers. I haven't even, I gotta get Mike Clark on here. Yeah, I gotta get Mike Clark on here. Jeremy Steinkohler is messaging me, hold on a second. Zoom, no, Facebook Live. Oh yeah. Yeah, interesting getting your um, your children's make sure they do their homework, right? Oh, they're done on June fourth. I don't even. Oh, it's May twentieth. Is it May twentieth? Yeah, Wednesday, May twentieth, and next week is Mama Grace's birthday. A week from today. We'll have to, um, we'll have a party, Mama. We'll just party. We're going to party today. We're about to go on a drive after Jeanette and I plant and figure out what else we're going to put outside. Uh, Kate, got to go to work. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Have a beautiful day, Kate. Heather Wood. says thank you. Kevin says thank you. Kev, Kev, Heather, crazy story. I would have done the same thing. Foster's freeze. So not cool. I know when someone's got a mask like and it's like this, like, you know, you have to put it on like this. Yes, the farmer's market happens June 6th. St. Joseph's farmer's market starts on June 6th. Love to you as well. Thank you, Heather. And I'd love to have you on the show sometime, Heather. As I say, anyone is welcome. Anyone is invited, all are welcome. Heather Wood is, has my friend Gina says, the bomb shit. That was really fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kevin. I know, split. All of a sudden it split, plus it, it cuts my my kitchen, then you don't see the my vitamins back there. But you see my fridge? I have a fun fridge. It has all kinds of fun stuff on it. And then I have a door. My dad put in a, a metal door. I guess it's an aluminum door, so I can, I have stuff on my door. I have share on my door. Oh, crappy. So I'm sorry that happened. Not cool. All you want is a Sunday for your grandchild and someone's being punky. Not cool at all. Karaoke tomorrow night. Ah, I'm just me, just like you are you. I had a fun New Year's Eve party this year. Um, Grace was in town and it was my last day in the house that I had been in for the last two and a half years, I guess. And um, I didn't have a gig. And so I thought I'd have a party. And I invited random friends and a couple of friends from Facebook that I, that we have friends in common, but what had never met. Narda, Michael Walden, <gasps> Narda. Narda, what are you doing Friday night? Friday night. Oh, would you be my guest here on Friday night? It just so happens that it's been sporty, Jenna. It just so happens that I've had all these drummers and you would be like, 
that would be the way to keep it rolling is this look called sport it's called lisa mamina hi my name is lisa mamina i know your poor grandson narda benton harbor's calling you yolanda hi lisa mamina how are you yolanda what's happening lisa kevin coon was just on i think you went to school with not Joni. Which coon did you go to school with? Teresa or Joni? Joni? How are you, Yolanda? See you on Friday morning, perhaps? <sighs> Karaoke tomorrow night? You could even play a song, Katie. Dr. Katie Summers could play a song. Any, any way you want to do karaoke. You want to sing it? You want to do a spoken word? Do you want to um, dance like Kate? Might do. Hi, Heather. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I might get in trouble with that too. I hope that I don't get blocked because I played that song at the beginning. Now I'm nervous. If there's a big, like, if it looks like this for a little while, just fast forward. That's what, that's when I know I've been blocked. Okay. What's going on now? Oh, Jeanette. Hi, Lisa. There you go. <laughs> what are you guys drinking? No one's telling me, no one tells me what they're having for breakfast anymore or what they're drinking. Oh. Oh, there's a yoga class starting. I'm not going. I'm going to go outside and plant hostas. Maybe my cousin Helen. <gasps> Helen could sing. Well, it happens every Thursday. That's all I have to say. Hi, girly. Hi. Thank you. Key. Victorian pantry coffee. Sounds rather kind of sexy Victorian pantry coffee is it it must be good do you grind and do the whole thing always curious about this coffee thing it's just never been I had a teacher that well we weren't coffee people in our house Earl Grey tea jalapeno cheddar sourdough toast that you made jalapeno cheddar sourdough toast that Heather baked. Oh, there goes one of my lights. Granger, Indiana. There goes my light back on. See, everything's, oh, and you know what? I got another, I, you guys, I'm getting so high tech here. Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine. Coffee isn't good for the voice. No, it's not. It, it dries it out. But I had a teacher using FaceTime. Yes. See, I have all these messages coming towards my face right now. Yep. Um, yeah, coffee dries your throat out. But I, my family, we weren't coffee. I've been drinking hot water with lemon since I was a little kid. And sometimes my grandmother would, would make hot water and then she'd put a little milk in it flash of milk or cream or something. But when I was in school, I had a teacher that obviously smoked and drank coffee and then would you know, come up behind you and talk in your face like this close, like this was her head right here as I'm drawing. See? Oh, 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 oh. Maybe that's why I can't draw. <laughs> that could be. Did you guys, you guys, the, the, the new people haven't seen. Last night we had a drawing class. Hi, Ron. Looks like you're having a good time and staying, getting healthier every day. Congratulations. I'd love to have you on the show and we could talk about your transformation, if you would, and maybe from your sailboat, Ron. So last night, my friend Phyllis Norris 
taught us how to draw a person using circles. Gotta run. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This is my drawing. <laughs> but I liked my leg. I liked the, the little, she said my arms were just a little too far away from the body, but my skirt was cute. My thighs were toned, my knees, but I didn't shade it in and stuff. So we did, she taught us to do this last night online and, um, and Mama Grace said she finally turned off the show because she looked down at her, her drawing and it looked like a toilet. <laughs> Hi, Michael Keel. Hello, Merced. Hello, Kathy Ellis. Hello, Bering Springs. So I think that's partly why you love coffee. You can't sing. You love coffee. Yeah, I think that might be one of the reasons I don't like coffee because this head, this breath, smoking coffee breath an inch from my face. PT, we need to talk. Bye, cutie. Nice to see you. Thursday night. Be ready. Uh, does Armando sing? Oh, Armando could sing. We could have some of our regulars on. That would be fun. I'd be down for that. Oh, goodness. Well, you next time she's on, she's going to teach us how to draw a boat. And she said, uh, you need to just be able to draw a square. Look at me, a square. A square. A rectangle, a triangle, a circle, a straight line, and waves. Oh, this is my friend Julie's attempt. Hold on, let's see what it is. <laughs> Howdy. Hello to the... Hey! Oh, you did the wave. She did the wave. Oh, I love yours. That's Julie Luce's attempt. That looks like you, Julie. I love the green pants and you put shoes. Oh, you put those boots. I remember last night you said you had boots. <laughs> that was really fun, Phyllis. And then Phyllis and I sat on the phone afterwards for about an hour and just talked and we're going to start. I'm getting a guitar. She's loaning me a guitar and I'm going to learn how to play guitar. You know, I've played with the, some of the greatest guitar players on the entire, in the, in the universe, in my opinion. And no, I never picked it up because I, because I'm a singer because, because I didn't. And she inspired me because I figured if my 81 year old friend can, start to play guitar. It's time. And then we're going to perform together here on Facebook Live. And by then, hopefully, multi-streaming. I haven't figured that out yet. Didn't have a blue. Yeah, I have a different color. I have a blue right here. Oh, that's why I made right. Oh, we could have had matching outfits. Part of the same collection. Yeah, yeah, if you would have had a blue, we could have had part of the same collection, and this is the blue. <laughs> I was going for the Marlo Thomas look. A younger Marlo Thomas. <laughs> anyway, that's about, that's my story. That was Phyllis, and tonight is Phil, and tomorrow night's karaoke, and Friday night maybe. And Saturday night, one more Saturday night with Jeremy Steinkohler. And Monday night is my friend, Joe Velez. Yes. It's adorable. Yours was adorable. I love, you know, the little kick. Uh, but you did the wave. See, I, I wasn't listening and I went ahead because I wasn't. Hi, Lise. Hi, Lise Walker. Lise Walker gives the best hugs. And Lise, I want you on the show. 
when will you be on the show? What's happening? Thursday nights, karaoke. I call you up, you sing a song, we talk for a minute, we say goodbye. But to have you on the show to talk about your life and what you've created with your theater company, that would be awesome. Lise, I'm booking next week. I know you guys had a tornado scare the other night and thank you for letting me know that you're all good. I'm running out of tea. I'm going to have to get up and make more tea. And tonight's Bill. Bill Winokur. Bill's still here. Bill, are you still here? Now I know when I when I listen to podcasts, you know how they always bring up, and if you'd like to sponsor me or if you'd like... I am looking for sponsors, meaning if you want to advertise your product, like, like I would love to have these guys as a sponsor or the St. Regis, you know, if they'd like to donate some sweets and we could have a party at the St. Regis. Jay Franklin, San Antonio. So now we have San Antonio. We're all, we're coast to coast and everywhere in between because there's Kerhunkson in the house, um, Kerhunkson, New York, Massachusetts, San Antonio, St. Joseph, Michigan, Oakland, back to work. See ya, Heather. And Bill tonight from, from Massachusetts with Bo. Does Bo live in town? Is he near you? I'm excited. Hey, Bill. How can I bring, now see if somebody doesn't give me the opportunity to bring them on camera, how do you bring them on camera when they're, when it's not there? Anybody? I need some, I need a techie. I need a techie that, that can see how I draw and that's how I am about technology. I'm, I'm doing just fine the way I am, but I need to um, ramp up my game. I'm just looking here. Yeah, I don't know how to do this part to bring somebody on that. Because sometimes they say, would you like to bring this person on? And that's how I brought Kevin on today. Bill, can I bring you on camera for a minute? Because it gives me the opportunity to bring you on. I'm just going to do it. And if you, if you answer, you answer. Because then we can talk a little bit and talk about tonight. Let's see what happens. Oh, can't bring him on, it says. I tried. I try and I try, I can't save a cent. I'm up after midnight cooking, trying to make my rent. Ciao. Hi, Rich. No. Okay. Well, one more person down. Rich. Hi, Joan. What's up? Everybody's going back to work and I'm about to go plant hostas and then go see Mama Grace and do some drive-in and figure out my next move for the day so I can come back and be ready for tonight. Thank you, Kevin Kuhn, for your donation on my Venmo page. On oh, my Venmo, what is my Venmo? Someone just asked, what's your Venmo number? This Venmo thing is just a trip, isn't it? I do have a PayPal page, but my Venmo address is da 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 Venmo at Jenna dash Mamina. J E N N A dash M A M M I N A. Thank you.
community, to connection, and how you're meeting each other and supporting each other and checking out each other's work. Tonight is Bill. Tomorrow morning could be you. Tomorrow night, karaoke. Friday night might be Saturday night, Gary Lambert. Sunday night, Jeremy Steinkohler. Monday night, Joe Velez in the house. I'm off for the day. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy every breath and call someone. Say hi. And remember, love hard.